Hi. I'm a little worried about Doogie because he seems to have gorged himself on windfall pears. He's in the middle of the paddock. It's a hot, sunny day. I'm standing in the shade by the woodshed here. And so I've, um, I, I've built a little kind of uh, shade protection for him, and I've been dumping buckets of water on him because he's, you know, pigs don't have sweat glands, and so I don't want him to overheat, and he's an old pig. So anyway, let's go. I'll go. Let's go look at him. I'll hopefully... His little setup will keep him cool until he recovers from his gluttony. You can see how hot and dry it, well, you can see how dry it is, but trust me, it's hot. So poor little Doogie here is passed out in the paddock. But you see, I've got him in at least partial shade. Doogie, hey Doogie. Oh, did you eat too many pears? <laughs> I think he's okay. Yeah, you ate too many pears, didn't you? You ate too many. Oh, he's he's rolling over for a little. He's rolling back for a belly rub. He's okay. If he he's resituating himself for a belly rub. He's still um a little damp, but in the sun he's pretty hot. I might um put some more water on him. So I've just been grabbing a uh, a bucket from the hay shed here and. Uh, it's a bit of a mess in here. It's a hay shed, so stuff just tends to accumulate in here. Like you wouldn't believe the junk that's in there. So I've got a bucket. I'll just dump some more water on him to keep him cool. I, I can, by his grunt and sigh just now, and the way he sort of rolled off to his side, I think that he's, uh, he's going to be okay. Here, let me show you what I'm doing here. So this is Doogie's pig trough, and I'll just dump some, some water on him. Here we go. Now, he, he usually doesn't, he's not so keen on this because, you know, it's cold. They're cool out there, but doesn't that feel good, Doogie? Doesn't that feel good? Oh. Yeah, let's keep it nice and cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, cold. I know, I know. There, that'll keep you cool, Doogie. That'll keep you cool. So, he's, uh, you know, I only worry about him because he's such an old pig. And, uh, I do have a little deja vu with this because this is how our first pig, Old Lady Lucy, when she was at the end of her life, she collapsed in the paddock and it was a hot day like this and it was uh, my neighbor who um, helped me to uh, set up a shade cloth for her. You know, proper farmers would think I'm crazy for doing this. This is this is a fact. They'd be like, what are you doing? It's it's just a pig. Um, not, not all farmers, but uh, I know that... Uh, a lot of farmers would think I'm ridiculous for doing this, but you know, Doogie's a pet pig. He's not a, you know, we don't eat our pets. Um, I do actually eat pork still with some feelings of uh, you know, conflict because uh, once you get to know pigs, um, you know, eating pork is, is a different thing. Um, so I just say, I don't eat my friends. Like, I, I, I eat pigs I don't know. <laughs> don't know if that is uh, better or worse, but... So anyway, I, I try to take care of Doogie. He's he's just breathing heavy now, and he's kind of... Let's see if you can hear him breathing. Hang on. Okay. There he is. Sleeping it off. Because he's old, I worry about him, and because that's how I found old Lady Lucy just before she died, um, you know, passed out in the paddock like that. And she was, the problem with old Lady Lucy was that um, she'd been laying there for a while and there were flies starting to gather around her, so, um, you know. Fortunately, there are no flies on Doogie. Uh, he's just, I think, sleeping off a bit of gluttony. So, uh, anyway, I just worry about you know, well, he'll, well, he'll, he'll pass eventually, right? But um, you know, during the day we we go to our our day jobs, and uh, I worry. We, we've got our, our neighbor checks on him, well, feeds him during during the weekdays, and and that's fantastic. So he, he's you know he's he's not without care, but uh, you know, there's just not someone around twenty four seven, and he's an old pig. 
And also, you know, when a pig dies, you have to you have to bury it, right? And we've buried three pigs, dug very big holes for those pigs. And uh, I've had to take time off work to do that, of course, because when a pig dies, you can't just wait, especially in heat like this. If he were to die um, in this heat, we'd have to get him in the ground pretty quickly. But um, anyway, I'm probably just being paranoid because of the way I found old Lady Lucy. So hopefully he'll be fine and I don't have to think such horrible <laughs> thoughts about burying him. He's not dead yet. So uh, so let's just set those thoughts aside. Anyway, that's the rural excitement today. Hopefully he'll be fine. I'll let you know next week. Look, look who's up. Um, I thought that I would be telling you next week whether or not he's okay, but um, I just came into the hay shed to do some work and uh, I suddenly heard him <laughs> grunting and, and you know, the thing is that he knows, usually when I'm in here, he gets fed. And uh, <laughs> I think he heard me moving around in here. And when he hears that bucket that I use to, to, to put water on him, that's usually the bucket that I give him pig feed in. So he, uh, he heard me. And even though he has eaten too much today, it seems that he wants his dinner. This is what he tends to do when uh, that's where he stands and he pokes at the gate like he's just done. Um, when he wants dinner. So his belly is still distended. I'm not feeding him dinner. He's eaten so much today. I gave him some scraps this morning and then he made a pig of himself on the, uh, the paired windfall. So um, he's not getting anything more today. It's five o'clock. He's, he's good for the day. But uh, <laughs> he would like more food, clearly. Pigs, what are you gonna do? Did you eat too much? Did you eat too much? What's going on, Diggy? You did. You ate too much, didn't you? Okay, well now we're ending on a good note. This is played out in real time rather than uh, week by week. So anyway, minor scare here. Doogie's fine. Everything's good. I almost forgot to say, if you want your updates on Doogie and the other exciting things around here, hit the subscribe button in the corner below this video and the little bell, and you'll get notified next time I post a video on just how Doogie is. Thanks a lot. Take care.